largest fleet ever assembled in the Pacific. Battleships, cruisers, carriers, and transports steams for Tarawa, vital Japanese base in the middle of the Pacific. Tarawa, in the British Gilbert Islands, is one of the most heavily fortified of Jap air bases. Its recapture is important to the United Nations offensive. The invasion force moves into waters controlled by the Japanese fleet since 1941. In solemn reverence, men of the attacking force bow their heads in prayer. Ask God for guidance and aid as they approach the hostile shore. and the Navy's big guns open fire. The Marines attack. Shells and aerial bombs have pounded the island's 22 miles of fortifications incessantly. But the enemy is well entrenched, and landing boats are met with a terrific fire. establish a beachhead, naval guns continue to shell Japanese positions inshore. Using hand grenades and bayonets, the Marines push forward inch by inch, wiping out pillboxes and machine gun nests one by one. Enforcements arrive. Tarawa and the Gilbert Islands are in the hands of United Nations forces. The entire garrison, more than 4,000 Imperial Japanese Marines, annihilated in 76 hours. The most difficult, the most dangerous of all military operations achieved. Victory at Tarawa stands as a dramatic symbol of the growing offensive power of the United Nations in the Pacific. barbed wire and concrete emplacements along the coral-studded shore attest to the fury of the American attack. coastal batteries, now twisted and shattered. For 23 months, the Japs had fortified Tarawa, converted it from a peaceful copra trading post to one of the strongest bases in the Pacific. The fall of Tarawa is a vital blow to Japan. on the island were many Koreans, workers forced to labor in slavery by their Japanese masters. The vital airfield, rendered useless by continuous bombing, is quickly repaired as American construction battalions now turn Tarawa into a base against Japan. <laughs> Firmly entrenched, the United States Marines stand guard over the bloodiest battleground of the war in the Pacific.